What if computers could battle hacks like our immune systems battle viruses? Darktrace, a leading cybersecurity firm, has pioneered technology based on the human immune system, able to detect suspicious activity and even slow a cyber attack. Joining me now is Darktrace CEO Nicole Egan to discuss this brave new world of cyber protection. Hi, Nicole. Thanks so much for being with us. So tell us about this new technology that mirrors the immune system of a human body. Well, as you can tell from the number of breaches we continue to see, a new novel approach was necessary. So Darktrace is based on the principles of the human immune system. The immune system has an innate sense of self. It actually learns what's normal in our body and therefore what's not normal. And that's the way Darktrace works. So we can automatically detect threats within any enterprise network. So it, Darktrace figures out the way an enterprise network normally works, the places it normally goes and the things that it normally does, and then sounds an alarm when something irregular happens. Is that right? That's right. It uses um, what's called machine learning to actually learn the pattern of life of every user and device connected to the network. And the reason this approach is so different is most of the old technologies really tried to keep the bad guys out, kind of acting like the skin. Darktrace says, well, what if they're already inside, like a virus or bacteria would be? We're going to go and find them. Now, you work with the CIA, former CIA chief information officer. Is that right? That's correct. And how does he describe the cyber threat facing most companies and most networks today? Well, it's, it's not getting any easier. It's a really difficult problem to solve. And the hard part right now is having humans keep up with it. We're seeing attacks like ransomware that move so very quickly that humans need something to slow it down. So this approach of having things like digital antibodies that slow down the attack, giving the humans a fighting chance. Absolutely. Now, is this approach something that could be used for national cybersecurity as well? Or is this something that you see right now more on a personal or company-wide basis? Well, right now our focus has been on companies. Mm -hmm. But the interesting thing is over 85 percent of internet-connected businesses, right, are all run by corporations. You look at national critical infrastructure, things like airports and trains, uh, as well as um, we've heard about water supply issues. A lot of that is run by the private sector. So Darktrace not only protects companies' networks, but we also do protect national critical infrastructure. Are there certain industries that you consider particularly at risk, or are, they, or is everybody equally vulnerable? You know, every different industry, every size company, clearly as it is at risk. We do, however, have about a quarter of our customers are in financial services, so that's still a, a significant area that's under attack. But it does include everything from two-person hedge funds to. Um, you know, stock exchanges. Absolutely. So are there key issues that you think that all companies should consider when they're looking at their cybersecurity? Well, I think, you know, one thing is that a lot of investment has been placed in hardening the perimeter of the outside and not enough investment has been placed on inside the network. So I think that rebalancing of where to place our investments is probably one thing. The second thing I would bring up is that we have a lot of internet connected devices into our corporate networks air conditioning systems, lighting systems, internet connected coffee machines, all of those are the easy ways now to break into a corporate network and they're unprotected. Absolutely, sounds so smart, everything that you're saying. Nicole Egan, thank you so much for that. Thank you.